Hi guys, welcome back on my channel, the Rota Palska International, new artist and educator here and today we are going to do a beautiful spring design, so you can have a wee preview of it in here. Nothing over the top, nothing too complicated and I hope your clients are really going to love this uh, design. Let's start! <laughs> I have done the thumb already, have a wee look at it, really beautiful and it is in matte like for a change uh, but I will show you how to do a beautiful black and purple butterfly set. So we will play with different um, different style on each needle and this one I'm going to use the 183 which is a black ink, so just a full cover. And you guys know that I love this gel polish because it's a one coat color. Apply it really nice and thin, like kind of press it pretty hard. You never want to apply the black um, too, too thick because then it is going to wrinkle in a lamp. So nice and thin, like even remove the excess from your brush and really work it through your black. Cap the free edge and then give it a cure. Okay, on this one we are going to go for half of the chromey look, or no, maybe a butterfly, similar like on the thumbnail. So let's paint it black first as well. And then give it a cure. Same on this one, I think I'm just going to paint them all black and then just play with different ideas. Give it a cure. And on this one as well. And then give it a cure. Okay, so take out the pinky and let's apply the High Shine No Wipe Top Gel. And this top coat is great for the chromes. And when we're working with the chromes, we have to make sure we've got a perfect application. Any kind of imper imperfections are going to really strongly show in a chrome. So I'm kind of twisting the tip into the light to check for any dust particles and then if I'm happy I'm putting inside the lamp to give it a 60 seconds cure. Okay that's the next tip ready so we are going to start encapsulating some butterflies and the one I have used for the thumb we've got those sets also available guys on our website uh, which is dorotapalitska.com and it is absolutely amazing, like I love the fact how much, uh, how many butterflies is inside and you've got some black, silvers, white, orangey, golds, turquoise, they are beautiful as well, some pinky-ish, uh, royal blue, they really nicely reflect the light as well, they're absolutely awesome. And the one I'm going to use is a kind of lilac, lilac, purple color, but they reflect all different lights, look at this beauty, it's like absolutely amazing and lots in there. So what you could do is you could um, put them like, take them out on the side couple, actually I have even split a few, um, so it's easier, or you could just pick them up from the box. And because we are working on the press on needles, I'm going to use the base gel to secure them in. So I'm just applying a small amount of the base, 
in the places where I want to place my butterflies. And then with some old brush, I'm just picking them and apply in the places I want. They're all going to nicely fly on the tip. All different directions. Absolutely stunning. Okay, I'm also placing them um, because we are working on the press on needles. I want to make sure they are not going to stick out. So check the side view, how they are lying. And if it's necessary, move them a little bit higher or apply a tiny bit more base. So I drop more base just so they get really encapsulated into the base gel. Okay, and then give it a cure. The pinky needle is ready. Okay, and uh, the chrome we are going to use is a really beautiful color as well. I think it will just go really perfect with the butterflies. Absolutely. So just apply it really properly in. Give it a couple scratches. And then remove the excess of it and apply the top coat. Unless we want to put some crystals. Hey, let's put some crystals. <laughs> Why not? So I'm just going to apply some crystals. I've got a nice box in here. There we are. And I've got some here. Crystals always looks perfect. And also the crystals which are applied with the base gel, they, they last me like really long time. Awesome. And then give it a flash cure just to freeze the base. Now let's also pick up the butterfly one. So we are going to apply a base gel over it again, just so the butterflies get encapsulated. Okay, we need to really encapsulate them nice. And then give it a cure. The pinky needle is ready, so apply the high shine no wipe top gel. Just don't cover the gems. Go around them. Awesome. Now on the other needles, I think it will be really nice if we go halfway look so this is a middle finger and we are going to create half a butterfly half a chromey look so let's put some base gel on the top part and then grab those butterflies really look random like and on this one even if they go one on top of another is okay
can just place them the way you want. And give it a flash cure. And same on this one, but we will swap it. So we will go on the bottom. So base gel. Come on, I need one. And freeze it. Okay, now on this one we are going to apply a couple gems. But more to the one side. And the last one. So I drop more base. And secure this crystal in. Okay, then give it a cure. Now the pinky is ready, so we are going to put it here. So that's our pinky. Move this blue tuck. Yeah, it looks beautiful. Okay, we have to encapsulate those ones. See, I find it like... Uh, as I say, normally I would encapsulate it in a hard gel, but on the Pressel Mills, I'm actually quite impressed how the base encapsulates the things. It's definitely better than the uh, top coat because it's much thicker consistency, so it's easier and quicker to encapsulate it. I think also gels in the bottles or a fiber gel in a bottle, uh, we've got some as well. It's a new kind of thing, um, will look awesome as well, and um, it will be very quick to to encapsulate the product. Okay, and then on this one we are going to apply some matte top coat but don't apply it on the crystals. Or maybe not because this is a ring finger, so maybe no matte. Oh gosh, matte or shiny, no matte. All the butterflies are going to be matte. So I'm just applying a matte top coat over it. And then give it a cure. Okay, this one is encapsulated and I want to get those chromey look. So what I have to do it is I have to top coat it because half of the nail is going to be chrome. So we are going to top coat it to protect our black.
and to be able to apply chrome halfway through and then stick some crystals in there. And do it the same on this one. Okay, the matte one is ready, so I'm just going to... It doesn't have inhibition layer, but I feel it like a matte uh, top coat because those, you've got those velour uh, look. I quite like to clean them with the blue scrub just before I take them uh, to be ready. We can also give it a little bit of file to the snail just so it looks nicer. And then we can stick it back to our display board. So I'm just shaping it a little bit on the sides here just at the free edge just so it has those nice coffin shape okay then clean it well and attach to our display board let me check yeah that's the one Okay, this one is uh, ready, so I'm going to take the chrome and apply it on the top part only. Now, don't worry if you go over the butterfly because we will uh, give it a couple of the scratches and we will also apply the gems in there, so it's not a big deal. And that's the quickest way really to, to do it. Remove the excess. Now take a buffer because we've got shiny surface there. I'm not able to apply the top coat over it, so I'll have to give it a couple scratches there. I will just reapply the chrome. I shouldn't be touching it. Awesome. And now we are going to stick some crystals in as well just at the same time. So we'll take a base gel and right in the middle where we've got those joint place we are going to stick in crystals. So large one in the middle and then two tiny ones on the side. So what is great, the crystals are going to hide the line in between the chrome and the bottom. Give it a flash cure. And we are going to do exactly the same on this one, but I will try it other way around. So let's buff it first. I'll need to give it a couple scratches. Clean it, then chrome. Scratches, clean it, base and the gems. <laughs> Now here's a middle finger, so I might squeeze three of the large one and one on the side for the small ones. Okay, 
I have made so much mess with this room. Did she? Oh, stick in. Okay, just move them into the right places. And then give it a cure. Now we have to top coat it. So the part with the butterfly is going to be matte. So I'm using the matte top coat. I love this one actually. Yeah, this one is my favorite one. Okay, so matte top coat on the butterflies. And the shiny top coat over the chrome, because we need to protect the chrome. Okay, very close to the crystals, but not on top of the crystals. And then give it a cure. Same on this one. So matte on the top. Shiny on the bottom. And then give it a cure. Now I just tidy up this mess and I will be able to show you the final results. Uh, but yeah, I, I think I'm going to do more um, tutorials on those butterflies because they are absolutely amazing. And I like the fact they come in a case because that's always the biggest struggle of the nail technician, like how to store how to store all the glitters which we've got. So let me tidy up them. We don't want to waste them. They're so pretty. How do you store your stuff? Like I've, I've got some shelves, um, I've got some shelves and they've got like those uh, kind of boxes. And I think it is a great way to, to store our glitters. Uh, and I quite like when they go by color so I would have like a full uh, box of the white glitters and then I will have a full box of blue glitter and try to kind of store them. Um, same the crystals I find that like storing them in those little boxes is much better uh, like they never kind of mix together because you've got separate box for every every single new art so uh, this is a best way for me. And yeah, this stuff is awesome as well because you've got always kind of clean table. Now the first meal is ready again. I need to wash my hands as well, guys. Let me just clean it and then we can stick it into the display board so I can show you how beautiful set we have created. I quite often clean also the, um, the crystals as well because when we're using the waxing tool, the, the the wax kind of uh, it's it's makes the crystals dull sometimes so it is good to give them a wee bath as well with the clean wipe of course actually I could swap the, the needle finger let me do it this way yes and yes this way it looks decent okay so that's the set which we have created guys today and i show you at all the different different angles i think it's pretty pretty nice and colorful colorful uh, the butterflies don't uh, reflect like uh, with the holographic sheen which they've got uh, but i still think uh, they are absolutely awesome i hope you have really enjoyed watching this tutorial if you did let me know that in the comments below glittery hacks and bye for now